Hello guys, it's Carrie Ann and I am back. We're going to go ahead and get started on this new crochet along tutorial. And this is for the stained glass lapgan. Um, the pattern is free. So if you go down to the description in the video below, um, you will see a link to my Facebook page, Yarn Over Creations. Go ahead to that page, join the group. You don't have to answer any questions. You just simply join and you will find the pattern um, under the files tab in, on the Facebook uh, group. So we are going to get started. These are the color yarns that I'm using. This is going to be my background color and this is going to be my pattern color. Um, you, all the information you need to know about the yarn is in the description below. So you will need two different color contrasting yarns. I recommend a medium four weight if you're not using the yarns I'm using. I'm using a five millimeter hook and you will need a pair of scissors. So um, I am on page four of the pattern and I am going to be doing the lapgan size blanket. There is instructions for uh, a throw or afghan size and also a California King if you are inspired or ambitious enough to take that on. So, um, again, I am on page four and under Lapgan, um, I'm looking at the foundation row and it's telling me that I'm going to use uh, the color B for my foundation row, which is my pattern color. So this is my pattern color here. And this is the color I'm going to be using for the foundation row. You also see on, on the uh, page four under Lapgan, it says foundation row does not count as the first row. Um, so that's important to remember. And we're just going to get our yarn ready here. And we're going to make a slip knot. Like so. And we're going to get our hook. So we are going to chain 99 stitches plus 8 for the lap can size. So let's go ahead and start doing that. And if you guys are familiar with me and how I like to start things out on these videos, I like to start with a little gratitude. Um, so today I'm just going to recite my gratitude prayer that I say uh, with every crochet project because I like to make sure that I am crocheting with love and gratitude because most of these projects are gifts for other people. So I'm just going to take a few deep breaths in through the nose and out through the mouth. Just let myself relax. These projects should be enjoyable. We shouldn't be stressed about it. So today, I am grateful for the shoes on my feet, the clothes on my back and the roof over my head. I'm grateful for the clean water that flows freely from my faucet and the food in my cupboards. I am grateful that I am in a place where I am safe all the things that are going on in the world. I am grateful for my safety and well-being. I am grateful for all of my families and all of my friends. May they be blessed, guided, and safe. I'm grateful for all of you who follow me along on these videos. Um, thank you for your encouragement and support. What are you grateful for today? post in the comments below. Let me know. Would love to hear your gratitude. Okay. And with that, we're going to continue. As I said, we're going to chain 99 plus eight, and I will see you at the end of this chain. Okay, guys, I'm at the end of my chain. And so, um, I have chained up 99 plus eight. Uh, remember that this loop on your hook is not counted as a chain. So now we're going to single crochet back down the chain. Um, but instead of going 
in the front of the chain like this here, I am going to turn my chain over and you see these humps on the back of your chain? That is what I'm going to single crochet into. Um, it just night leaves a really nice edge. Um, you can certainly crochet in the front of the chain if you like, but I like to turn my chain over. So we're going to actually skip the first stitch and starting in the second stitch of the chain, we're going to single crochet back down uh, the chain. So put your hook through that little hump in the back, yarn over, pull up a loop. You have two loops on your hook, yarn over, and pull through both those loops. And we're just going to keep doing that all the way down the chain until we get to the end. And when you go through the back of your chain, it really does leave a nice edge. Um, and I will show that to you once I get to the end of this. Um, so I'll meet you at the end of the chain and I will see you there. Okay guys, I am coming to the end of my chain here. Um, I've got two more to do. I just want to point out, don't forget this last little hump right here. Um, at the end of your chain. Sometimes it's easy to miss and if you miss it, um, it'll mess up your count. So there's one and then the last one is right here. Yeah, it can be easily missed there. There we go. Okay, so you, we have chained up 99 stitches plus 8, which is 107 stitches. We skipped the first stitch going back down the chain, so our total, chain, our total stitch count should be 106. And I just wanted to show you that edge there. When you crochet in the back of the chain, you have a nice clean edge um, at the end of your project. So from here... With the hook still left on your yarn, we're going to cut our yarn, um, leaving a one to two inch tail. And then you're going to yarn over and pull that yarn all the way through. And that is our foundation row. We are now going to move on to, we are moving on to row one and we're gonna switch our colors. So just a couple of reminders uh, with mosaic crochet. Uh, we are always working in the front of our piece. We're never turning our work and we are always alternating our colors um, in each row. Um, and I will be right back and we're going to start on row one. Okay, so here we are at row one. In row one, we are gonna start our board with our border stitch. So in mosaic crochet, you have two border stitches, one at the beginning and one at the end. Those stitches are always the same on every row. So to do your border stitch, you're going to take your hook and on the very first stitch, you're going to put the hook under both loops of the first stitch. You're going to pull up a loop. Make sure that you leave a tail one to two inches. Move that tail out of the way. Yarn over. Pull up a loop and secure that yarn. You may have to tighten that up a little bit. And then under the same stitch, you're going to put your hook under both loops of that stitch. 
pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through both loops. And that is your border stitch. You will do that border stitch at the beginning of every single row and it will always be the same. So we're going to take a look at our pattern. Uh, we're on row one, color A, which is my background color. We're going to do, we did our border stitch and now we're going to single crochet 104 stitches and then end with a border stitch. So in mosaic crochet, your single crochets are always done in the back loop of your stitch. So here's your front loop and here's your back loop. So you put your hook through the back loop, pull up a loop. You have two loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through both loops. There's your next stitch here. We're going to do the same thing, always in the back loop. And we're going to do these single crochets all the way back down our piece. Again, always in the back loop for single crochets in the mosaic crochet technique. So we're going to do this 104 more times. So basically, when you get to your last stitch, you're going to stop because your last stitch is going to be your ending border stitch. So let's go ahead and do back loop single crochets for this row, 104. And there I split my yarn. So whenever you split your yarn, stop, go back. Uh, you will notice it in your piece. Um, and take your time. This should be an enjoyable project. All right. I'll see you guys at the end of this row. Okay guys, I am at the end of row one um, and I'm going to finish off with my ending border stitch. Your ending border stitch will be the same in every row. And once again, you're going to go under both loops of the last stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through both loops. Now you're going to leave your hook on your yarn and we're going to cut that yarn leaving a tail. And you're going to yarn over, pull that yarn all the way through and tighten that up. And that is the end of row one. And I will see you at the beginning of row two. Okay, guys, uh, we're moving on to row two. And in row two, row two is the same as row one. Um, we are using our color B, with it, which is our pattern color. I'm using this pretty blue turquoise color. And we are going to start with our beginning border stitch, which once again, you're going to put your hook under both loops of the very first stitch. Pull up a loop. You're going to leave a tail, but you're going to move that tail out of the way. Yarn over. Pull that through and tighten that down to secure the yarn. Now under the very same stitch, we're going to do put our hook through both loops of the very same stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two loops, and tighten that up. And that is your beginning border stitch once again. And for row two, we're going to single crochet 104 in the back loop only. So it's the same as row one. So in the back loop only, we're going to single crochet all the way down this row until you get to your last stitch because our last stitch will be our ending border stitch. So I will see you guys at the end of this row.
Okay, guys, I am coming to the end of row number two, and I have one more single crochet to do. And we are going to, oh, I'm going to start that one over. Sometimes it's just tricky doing this while looking in the camera. So we will do one more single crochet and then we're going to do our ending border stitch, which once again, we're going to go under both loops of the very last stitch. You're going to pull up a loop. You have two loops on your hook, yarn over, pull that through. And with your hook still on your yarn, you're going to cut your yarn, leaving a tail. And we're going to yarn over and then pull that all the way through and tighten that up. So that is the end of row two. We are now moving on to row number three. Okay, guys. We're moving on to row number three. In row number three, we're using our color A, which is our background color. I'm using this tweed. And once again, this is where things get a little exciting. So we're gonna start with our border stitch, like we do at the beginning of every row. Make sure you move that tail out of the way so you're not crocheting the tail. Um, that would cause an issue for you. So we're going to do our border stitch here. Now if you're following along, again the pattern is free. You can get it off the Facebook page. The link is below in the description. So let's take a look at row number three. We are doing our border stitch and then we're starting out with two double crochets. So in this pattern, the way it's written, um, every row in the beginning has your border stitch and then two additional stitches before you move into your repeat stitches. Um, and it is the same at the end of the row. You're gonna end with three additional stitches and a border stitch. And uh, those stitches, those seven stitches are not counted. So it says to start with two double crochets and I'm going to go over how to do the double crochet. So we're going to yarn over and your double crochets are the same in mosaic crochet technique. It's called a front loop double crochet. So here's your first stitch but you're going to drop down to the stitch below and the row below you're going to put your hook through that stitch. You have three loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through one loop. You have three hoop loops again. Yarn over, pull through two loops. You have two loops remaining. Yarn over, pull through two loops. And what that double crochet is doing is it's covering the color and the row you're working. Your double crochets, you're always going to be working your double crochets in the same color yarn as your working yarn. So let's do that again. It says two double crochets, so we're going to do another. So we're going to yarn over. Here's our next stitch. We're going to drop down to the stitch below. Put your hook through. You have three loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through one loop. You have three loops remaining. Yarn over, pull through two loops. You have two loops remaining. Yarn over, pull through two loops. So those are our first three stitches that are not counted. Your border stitch and two doubles in this row. So now we're gonna move on to our repeat stitches in the pattern, your repeat stitches are always between um, the brackets. So we're going to start with one double crochet. So let's do another double. And 
And then it says to do 10 single crochets. And remember, your single crochets are always the same, working in the back loop of your stitch. So let's do 10 of those. One. Two. Three. Four, five, six, don't split your yarn. If you do, stop and start over. Now I can't remember where my count was. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, and ten. And then our next set of stitch is going to be one double crochet. So yarn over, drop down to the stitch below, and do your double. And then we're going to end this uh, repeat stitches with 10 more single crochets. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And those are your, so these were your first three stitches here, from here to there. Those are your series of repeat stitches. So now we're going to go back to the beginning with those stitches between the brackets. You will need to look at the pattern. Um, and we're going to do that, those series of stitches, two more times because it's a repeat of three times for the Afghan. So go ahead and do those repeat stitches and I'll see you at the end of this row. Okay guys, we're going to move right on to row four. In row four, we are using our uh, color B, which is our pattern color. And just before we begin this row, I want to let you guys know that I went ahead and uploaded uh, the pattern onto Raverly. Um, there's a link in the description below. I, I just realized not everybody has Facebook, so I just want to make sure that everybody has um, access to the pattern. And again, you can find the link below. And it is free on Ravelry as well. All right, so row number four, uh, we're going to start with our first three stitches, which, which are our border stitch and two single crochets. Um, so let's go ahead and do our border stitch. Remember, our border stitch is always the same, going under the first, going under both loops of the first stitch, moving your tail out of the way tightening that yarn to secure it and then under the very same stitch under both loops pull up a loop and pull your yarn through and tighten that up and that is the same for every row and then two singles and your single crochets are always in the back loop of your stitch it's one and two. Okay, so moving right along to our repeat stitches, our first set of stitches, it says to do two singles and one double. So that's two singles, one, two, 
and then one double crochet. Your double crochet is in the row below. You're always working into the same color of your working yarn. So here's our next stitch. We're going to drop down to this stitch below for our double crochet. And our next set of stitches, one single, one double. One single, and one double. Our next set of stitches, two singles, one double. two singles and one double our next set of stitches one single one double one single and one double. Our next set of stitches, three singles, one double. It's one, two, three, and one double. Our next set of stitches, one single, one double. One single, one double. Our next set of stitches, two singles, one double. Two singles. And one double. Our next set of stitches, one single, one double. One single, one double. Our next set of stitches, three singles, one double. One, two, and three, and then one double. Our next set of stitches is one single, one double. One single, one double. Our next set of stitches is two singles, one double. One. And one double. And our next set of stitches is one single and one double. 
one single and one double. And then our last stitch is a single crochet. And those are our repeat stitches, our 33 repeat stitches. And this is what you should be looking at. Um, there's a lot of stitch changes in this row, so take your time. Um, there's actually a really nice rhythm to this row, so let me know if you can find that rhythm. Um, that's what you should see so go ahead and repeat that two more times and I will meet you at the end of this row okay guys here I am at the end of row four and um, if we look at our pattern we are ending with uh, three single crochets and so I have enough for my three singles and my border stitch so Let's go ahead and do that up. Did you guys catch the beat on that row? Did you find the rhythm? Let me know in the comments. Let me know if you understand what I mean by the rhythm. Um, I don't know if I have the words to explain it. But anyway, we're going to end with three singles. Oops. And our border stitch. It's your border stitch. You're always last stitch going under both loops of that last stitch pulling up a loop yarn over both are two loops and we're going to cut that yarn leaving our hook on the yarn and you're going to leave a tail about one to two inches going to yarn over and pull that all the way through and tighten that up and that is the end of row four and this is what you should be seeing and we are moving on to row five okay here we are at row five in row five we are using our color a which is our background color and as always our first three stitches we're starting with is our border stitch and two double crochets so let's go ahead and do our beginning border stitch. Your border stitch is the same at the beginning of every row. And there is our border stitch. And now we're going to do two double crochets. Your double crochets you're always working into the same color of your working yarn and there's our first stitch and we're dropping down to that stitch below go ahead and do two doubles this one and two Okay, so now we're moving into our 33 repeat stitches. And our first set of stitches is one double and four singles. Go ahead and do that one double. And four singles. Your single crochets are always worked in the back loop. One. two, three, and four. Our next set of stitches, two doubles, four singles. Two doubles. And four singles. One, two, three, and four. Our next set of stitches is one double, four singles. 
one double. Four singles. One, two, three, and four. Our next set of, set of stitches is two doubles, four singles. One, and two. And four singles. One, Two, three, and four. Our next set of stitches is one double, four singles. Oops. One double. Four singles. One, two, three, and four. And our last set of stitches is two doubles, four singles. Two doubles, one, and two, and four singles, one, two, three, and four. And that is the end of our repeat, 33 repeat stitches. You're going to go ahead and repeat those series of stitches two more times, and I'll see you at the end of row five. Okay, I'm at the end of row five, and I am going to finish up the row according to my pattern. We're going to do two double crochets and a border stitch. I do have enough, I'm sorry, three double crochets and a border stitch. So as you can see, I have enough for my three double crochets. There's one, two, and three, and then my border stitch. So let's go ahead and do those three doubles. It's one. Two, and three. And then we're going to do our ending border stitch. Put your hook under both loops of that last stitch. Pull up a loop, yarn over. Pull that through. Leave your hook on your yarn. Cut that yarn. Yarn over. Pull that all the way through and tighten that stitch. And that is the end of row five. And that's what you should be looking at there. And I, we're going to move on to row six. Okay, guys, we are moving on to row five. I'm sorry. No, we just finished row five. We're moving on to row six. So in row six, we're using our color B, which is our pattern color. I'm using that color there. And we're going to start with our first three stitches. 
that are not counted, which would be our border stitch and then two single crochets. So go ahead and start with your border stitch. And then we have two single crochets in the back loop only, as always. That's one and two. Our first set of, set of stitches, we have one single and one double. Oh, I'm going to split my yarn here. one single and one double your double crochets you're always working in the same color of your working yarn and you're dropping to the row below our next set of stitches is one single one double one single and one double Our next set of stitches, four singles and one double. It's one, two, three, and four, and one double crochet. Our next set of stitches, one single, one double. One single. And one double. Our next set of stitches is one single, one double. One single, one double. Our next set of stitches, one single, one double. One single, one double. Our next set of stitches is four singles, one double. One, two, three, and four, and one double. Our next set of stitches is one single, one double. One single, one double. Our next set of stitches is one single, one double. One single, one double. Our next set of stitches is one single, one double. One single, one double. Our 
next set of stitches is four singles, one double. One, two, three, and four, and one double. Our next set of our last set of stitches is one single, one double. One single and one double. And that is our 33 repeat stitches. Go ahead and repeat those stitches. Three more, or sorry, two more times, and I'll meet you at the end of row six. Okay, guys, I'm at the end of row six, and we're going to end with our ending stitches, which is going to be three single crochets and a border stitch. So that's one, two, and three and our border stitch. And we are going to cut our yarn. Yarn over. Pull that yarn through and tighten that up. That's the end of row six. And this is what you should be looking at. So let me just move the camera a little bit here. So I'm going to end the video here. Um, this pattern has 26 rows in it. So, <clears throat> excuse me, I think we can finish this up with two more uh, videos to get all 26 rows in. And then after you've finished that, it, you're going to repeat the full pattern uh, five more times. So um, I will take you all the way up to that repeat. So I'm thinking two more videos, and I will uh, post those videos later this week. But before I go, I'm just going to remind you, this is a good time to stop and tie those ends on the right side of your piece. Remember that you have to tie those. I like to tie them as I go. Um, so that way I don't have a whole bunch of ends I have to tie at the end of my project. So go ahead and tie up those ends. And again, I will post uh, the next video for rows seven for the next row. So I'm going to do two videos of 10 rows um, and that should wrap it up for this video tutorial. Um, so I will see you guys later in the week. I just wanted to get you started. Um, so I hope you download the pattern and you pick out your yarn and your colors. Uh, let us know in the comments what you've decided to use, what yarn you're using, uh, what colors you like. Um, and yeah, I'll see you guys later in the week. Bye for now.